Hi, welcome to another video in my series on mixed integration. And in this video, what you've got to do is try and integrate 3x multiplied by all of 2x minus 5 to the power 4 with respect to x. So as usual, what I'll do is just give you a few moments to pause the video, try and work through this, and come back when ready if you want to see the work solution and check your answer. Okay, well let's see how you got on. Well, to do something like this, you're not really going to want to expand the bracket and then multiply it by 3x. It's far too long. A better way is to use integration by substitution, where we let u equal the 2x minus 5. And just as a quick reminder about integration by substitution, although you could see tutorials on this if you go on my website, but essentially if you've got some function of x to be integrated with respect to x, what we do is we change the variable. We say this is the same as the integral of f of x with respect to x, but now what we do is we change this to dx du integrated with respect to u. It's as if these du's cancel, just leaving us with the integral of f of x dx, the same as what we had here. So to do this then, we let u equal the 2x minus 5. And then we need to work out what dx by du is. But we get du by dx first by differentiating u with respect to x. So therefore du by dx is going to be simply 2. So if we invert this now, we can get dx by du because dx by du will be equal to 1 half. Remember this is 2 over 1, so if we invert it, it's 1 over 2, a half. So the integral here then becomes the integral of 3x multiplied by essentially u to the power 4 and then instead of dx we now have dx by du which is this half and then we insert the du. Now the problem is we've still got an x in the integral and we've got to integrate with respect to u so we expect all u's in this. So what are we going to do with this x? Well we can get from this substitution up here which I'll call 1. We can say that from 1 we can make x the subject. If we add 5 to both sides and divide by 2 you can see that x equals u plus 5 divided by 2. Or we could think of this as a half of u plus 5. Either way, what we do is we substitute this back in here for x. So we've got the integral of 3 multiplied by x. I'll take this one here, u plus 5 over 2. Then that's being multiplied by the u to the power 4. And then the half and then we're integrating with respect to u. Now what we want to do now is just tidy this up. We've got the constant 3 over 2 times 2, which is 4, and we can drag this out the front of the integral, and it becomes 3 quarters the integral of, and then we've got u to the power 4 multiplied by u plus 5. And we can expand this now. We can get that this is u to the power 5 plus 5u to the power 4. Don't forget though, even though we've expanded it, because, because we've got two terms here, we need to put this in brackets, and we integrate it with respect to u. Now this becomes a standard integral now. We should be able to integrate each of these two terms. So if we do that, we've got 3 quarters, and then integrating u to the power 5. Remember, just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So that's u to the power 6 over 6. And the same applies with this one. We get 5u to the power 5 over 5. And then, don't forget the constant of integration plus c. Now, we could tidy this up. We can cancel these two 5's here. 5 to 5 goes 1. Okay, 
and we get just u to the power 5. And we should really try and tidy this up from here. Rather than just putting back that u equals 2x minus 5, it's a good idea just to work at cleaning this up at this stage. So what we've got is the 3 quarters and then we could put this all over 6. So let's just have some square brackets here, put this all over 6. So we've got u to the power 6 plus 6u to the power 5 and then plus c. Now at this stage what we could do is also pull out the 6 so we get 4 times 6 which is 24 or you could spot that we could cancel this at this stage we could divide the 3 into the 6 in fact I'll do that 3 into 3 goes 1 3 into 6 goes 2 so now we've got 4 times 2 which is 8 we can also pull out u to the power 5 as a common factor so putting those ideas together we've got u to the power 5 over 4 times 2 which is 8 and that's being multiplied by u plus 6 and then plus c. Now we can make the substitution back, we can, we can substitute for u back in as 2x minus 5 and what we've got now is 1 8th of u to the power 5 so that's going to be 2x minus 5 all to the power 5 and then we've got u plus 6 so in other words we've got 2x minus 5 plus another 6 which is going to be 2x plus 1 so I can just write 2x plus 1 in here and then plus c so there's the answer okay so I hope you were able to get that one right and uh, that brings us to the end of this particular tutorial but if you want more examples on mixed integration then just go on my website and uh, look under mixed integration and you should find other examples in this series.